What's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build the EMD SD40-2. So this is the CSX version, and I thought it looked pretty damn good. I just finished making it today, and uh, here is it next to the GP38-2. And as you can see, it's uh, slightly longer, and it has um, some more axles than the other one. So yeah, this is what it looks like, and uh, let's get started. So first off, we're going to place Scion hard and clay like that, right on top of the tracks, uh, make it two blocks tall, and you want to make it uh, 31 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And uh, let's go back to the front, and you want to make uh, the front, I uh, don't know what it's called. But we're going to make this shape with it, uh, three blocks on the bottom, five Y on top, and in the bottom corners, uh, we're going to add uh, stone brick stairs like this. And uh, let's move on to over here, you want to make this thick a double, and uh, make a wall right here, it's a two by five. And let's add the stairs, which are stone brick slabs like that on both sides and let's repeat the same thing on the other side so you want to make the shape of it so make it wider on top three on the bottom and let's add the corner stairs and scion hard and clay you know make the two by five uh, skipping one block and right here is the actual stairs which are stone brick slabs so it looks like that and let's add a coupling over here and we need to add trip wire hook next to it for some better details all right next we're going to use oak fence just add this uh, um, to the front like that and also the back so the front and the back they pretty much look the same right now but uh, soon we're gonna make it look different um, but for right now let's see we want to make this uh, segment in the middle three blocks wide so I'm just gonna add to this side and the other side and we might as well add the wheels right now since it's like a base and it should be the same on both sides so we're going to take a uh, hopper we want to make uh, three axles so one two and three see I'm just using the hoppers and do the same thing in the back one skip one make three pairs on both sides and in between the hoppers or the wheels we're just going to add uh, stone brick slabs like that. Same thing on the side. Alright, next we're going to add um, this part over here, the front, which I used a uh, yellow wool, and we have uh, this O shape like that, like a donut. And in the middle, we want to add the logo, which is uh, just the blue wool like that. Then we're gonna make it two blocks longer with the blue wool in the back. And this is where the cab starts. So we're gonna add uh, more blue wool. Just make uh, holes for the windows. And let's add a uh, black stained glass. And two in the sides like that. And put a blue wool over here. Underneath the window, we want to add a uh, yellow wool. <clears throat> like that for the numbers, they're yellow. And let's add uh, two blue wool over here. And add four, two by four right here. And surrounding the yellow, we want to add the perimeter, add a border. All right, for the top part, you just want to add uh, more blue wool on top. Just 
just uh, three blocks wide and have this part sticking out with the torch for the light and let's add uh, signs over here this is where you could place the number what other what uh, what ID number they use or whatever uh, over here on the front let's add some more lights which are just item frames on top of the fences and uh, white stained glass alright next let's add uh, another brick fence two blocks tall like that it, uh, we're gonna have to make this uh, banner right here and the banner is not that hard to make compared to this one this is the one I used to do and uh, someone told me to use this technique so I should probably do that and this is what it looks like we just use a black banner so let's uh, get a black banner and we want to get uh, lapis lazuli for the die and yeah we're just gonna add a border with the lapis lazuli and then place the banner uh, in the middle of it like that and just add a lapis on the bottom like a 2 by 3 and that should be it on how to make the banner for the door window like that and we have that on both sides and even the back side so yeah that looks a lot better than item frames honestly so I'm glad I found out this technique alright so next thing is let's add uh, oak wood slab to the sides underneath the blue wool and we want to extend that make it five blocks longer so one two three four five same thing we're gonna match it up and then let's add a uh, polished andesite and we want to make that six blocks long so one two three four five six it's the same thing on both sides and underneath like let's add some uh, stone brick stairs and for this part we want to make it two blocks longer than the polished andesite so it looks like that and the same thing on this side as well and uh, let's take some more polished andesite but you can fill this in so you can't really see inside on this side too fill that in and let's take the rest of the oak wood slabs fill in the space like that we just continue this line alright for the back part we're going to take blue wool just add uh, this shape to it and uh, with the blue wool and let's add a yellow wool on top uh, we're going to make it four blocks tall so one two three four and we're going to replace this yellow wool with the blue wool for the logo of CSX and uh, let's take a uh, blue wool just uh, line that up at the bottom in the center it's all blue wool which is pretty good Alright, once we're done with that, let's take a blue wool, again add a wall over here like a column, and then add two bedrocks like that, uh, fill in the center with blue wool, actually, yeah the whole center top is just blue wool continuously, so just line that up to the back, and let's take a bedrock, just add three, one, two, three, skip one, add three more same thing on the other side and in the gap we're gonna add a blue wool like that and blue wool for this gap as well then let's take uh, blue carpet just add that above the vents like that and above the yellow part and this vent also right near the front let's add stone brick slab right here there's like a little box like that and let's take uh, quartz stairs just add the long top of the cab like that on each side 
And then let's add a stone brick slab to the back, just add two. Skip one, add two, just continue it. So you have five of them, so one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna use a stone pressure plate. Just skip one here, skip one. Bam, we have two stone pressure plates right there. And uh, let's add the rest, which is just blue wool. Yeah, and then we need to add that logo. So uh, right under this bedrock, that's where it's just going to be all blue. So we're going to do the, uh, the back section first. And if you could see for the logo, I'm going to show you this later. Uh, it's not a perfect S, but it's actually pretty, it's pretty nice. Like I wanted to see an S, they... If I made it regular, it would just smush together. So this is what it looks like. I mean, you could kind of tell it's CSX for sure, and it's better than uh, the Norfolk other one. It's just like lines. So you got a shape right there. And uh, let's uh, make that. So what I did was I took yellow wool. Just add that right, right under here, like that. Make this C shape like that. Then this is the S shape that I did. Looks like a J or backwards L and then I had the regular X shape, which is alright. Maybe I need to move it uh one to the side like that. Uh, alright, for the logo we're gonna line it up with uh this one over here. Alright, so this is what the CSX logo looks like. Alright, so this is what the CSX logo looks like, and uh, we're gonna start off line up with the stone brick uh, slab and go under. Just add one like that, one underneath, and add the C, so it looks like this. And the S is like a backwards L or J shape, just to differentiate from the C, and the X is just a regular shape like that three blocks y we just make this x like that and that's pretty good and for the other side we just want to do the opposite because we don't want it backwards so just make a c and then the s it's like a j and then the x and that looks pretty nice right especially when we fill in the gaps with the blue wool you're gonna see how it looks like and uh, it is pretty good for Minecraft, like for this scale, I think so. Yeah, it looks nice. I mean, you can pretty much tell it's uh, the C and the X, but maybe not the S. The S is kind of like sideways, but it looks better than if I just use banners. All right, so if you already noticed that I used uh, just a blue wool for the banner, I mean the logo in the front instead of banners that's because the banners it would look too too big for this uh, so this just looks pretty far to me so that's why I did that and uh, next thing let's add the side railings in actually before I forget I know I will so let me just add these lights in the back just add a birch fence gate open that up right above that logo and Add the number plates on the sides. All right, now let's make the railing. So the railing it's different for each side. This side is all flat, while this side it's slightly elevated. So let's make the elevated uh, side first. So uh, two, three, four, five, six. So right here, we're gonna start off. We're gonna skip this space and make six uh, two block tall another brick fences. So that's five, not six, and just continue the rest with just uh, the one block tall fences. And then let's take another brick, I mean <laughs> just the stone brick slab, just add that in between the two block tall fences. Like that, and let's add uh, some string. This is to hold the carpet up without a anything in between it I mean it looks like it's not even there like you can't even tell from here 
So that's the good thing about string. It's a cool little trick that I learned a while ago. And we're just adding that in between the nether brick fences so we can place the carpet on top. So it looks pretty seamless. And right around here, we're going to add a stone brick stairs to connect to the lower levels. And we don't need a string for this one. And just connect it to the back like that. And for the other side, it's going to be slightly different. So it looks like this. And we're going to take blue wool and uh, add that to the corner instead. And add a stone brick stairs on top like that. Then add another brick fence. And that should be all the same level. So it starts right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then let's add the strings between the fences. And the top is just a blue carpet. I know before I used to use those slabs, but those slabs are really thick. And this looks, it doesn't look bad at all. Alright, so let's add the horn on top, you can't forget that. And that is uh, right right over here, uh, the second, after the second, what do you call this, a bump? I actually don't know what this is. Is this like a fan on top? Anyways, we just place it right there and let's add these side details, these things that stick out. So we're gonna take a stone brick stairs, just add a, uh, that right around here. We want to make it curve. So it looks like that. Do that on both sides. And then we're going to add uh, another brick stairs. Just add four. So one, two, three, four. And add a curved uh, stone brick stairs at the back of it like that. And the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. Curve. So it looks like that. And uh, if you want to, you can fill the top in with blue carpet. I'm actually not sure if this is how <laughs> it looks like. So let me just see how that looks. Yeah, it looks pretty normal. Uh, you can make this all the same level. If you don't like these bumps, you just uh, fill it in with blue carpet. I'm just experimenting right now. Yeah, if you f make it all blue carpet, it just looks so much smoother and nicer. And is that it? Yeah, it goes all the way. Let's make it go all the way to the front. Like that. And that's how you build the CSX SD40-2. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, remember to hit that like button below. And subscribe if you haven't already. Because I will be uploading more videos in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.